Take two. My rant, I'm fixing to rant and rave and carry on. Woman comes into the store last night, pregnant as she can be, okay? Comes up to the counter, and I know some of you don't know what this means, but she asked for a love rose and a chore boy. I'm going to break it down to you. Now, she's pregnant, but that thought, keep that thought in your mind. A love rose and a chore boy. A love rose is a little rose that comes in a glass, okay? They take the, love, the rose out of the glass, they stick the chore boy up in there, and they smoke crack with it, okay? No ands, ifs, buts about it. They smoke crack, which means they're endangering their child. Now, this woman last summer came in the same way, pregnant as she could be, buying, let's just call it what it is, a crack pipe in a little filler thing for the crack tube, okay? Anyhow, and from what I understand, she's been doing it for several years, every time, every year about the same time between June and in July, you'll notice her belly sticking way out, and here she comes in the store buying crack tubes. Now, unfortunately, the Love Rose is sold for you to give to someone as a gift. Okay, but that's not what it's being used for. I think they should be taken out of all stores. I really do. I mean, you're not really making much money off of them. So, why sell them? You know what they're being sold for. Anyway, the chore boys, yes, they're supposed to be used for scrubbing your pots and pans. It's not what they use them for. You know, everybody knows it. Really, there's nothing you can do because they're not illegal items. What's done with them is illegal. And my feelings on someone who is pregnant and smoking crack, someone who's pregnant, uh, drinking alcohol, someone who's pregnant and smoking cigarettes, someone who's pregnant, anything that could cause harm to your child, stop it! Stop it now! But, uh, this woman has come in, like I said, for several years doing this, from what I understand. I've only been there the past two summers, last summer and this summer, and every time the child's taken away because it's born a crack baby, I say, Snip, clip, sew, burn, tie, whatever you have to do when she has that baby this time. Okay? Because ain't nothing going on except for you and me having to pay for those children in foster care until they're 18. Now, I don't feel it's right that I have to pay for those children. They're not my children. I don't have any children. Anyhow, my second rant today is going to be... Uh, lady come into the store, another dumbass, uh, had her child, I would say he was about six, maybe, carrying a 12-pack of beer up to the counter. Now, here in the States, that's a no-no. Everybody knows it. You know, it's just a stupidity thing. I had to refuse her sale of alcohol according to ABC laws, and I did, because if I would have sold her that beer when her child carried it up to the counter, she would have let her child carry it out to the car. Okay, let's just say, for instance, cop ride by, see the kid carrying the beer. Hmm. Guess what? Cop's gonna stop, find out who sold that woman the beer, which would have been me, which would have meant I would have ended up in jail, with about a $10,000 fine on me. Uh-uh. That wasn't going to happen. No. Of course, she got all mad, pissed off, and acting like a stupid bitch. Walked out the store. Went up the road, got her beer elsewhere. So what? That's fine. If they let her do it, then... Hey, you know, that's on her, not me. Anyhow, she comes back into the store. Buys, uh... Two little Starburst things, and comes up to the counter and uh, says, I got my beer. Well, fine, I'm glad you got your beer. Anyhow, 
uh, she hands me the money and I go to get her change. She says, you just keep that change and put it in your pocket, you stupid bitch. Fine, call me a stupid bitch, but I'm not in jail. And when your kids are taken away from you by social services because you're letting them carry beer around, that's not my problem either. Well, yeah, it ends up being my problem because it's my tax dollars that has to pay for that child to be in the uh, social services system because you're not going to pay for it. You're a lazy welfare bum. Anyway, that's enough on this rant. Tell me what y'all think about these subjects, and until next time, I'll be seeing you on the YouTube.